Excitement enveloping everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned Club Kings of Europe? It's Barcelona. They face Arsenal live right here on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Barcelona, and they take on Arsenal. Well, Derek, you just wonder what those players are thinking right now. Some will be nervous, some will be excited, and some may be anxious. But once that whistle blows, we're going to be in for an absolute classic here. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield and getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. the goalkeeper granite jacka plays alongside thomas Partey in the center of midfield and the centerpiece of the attack today is gabriel jesus and they get the ball rolling in the champions league final we're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of europe Kunde, Rafinha, Pedri, De Jong, the cross is on, that's well blocked, real chance, splendid defending. over by Usman Dembele outrageously good piece of defending on the line Barcelona have lost possession well Martin Odegaard is supremely gifted and I wonder Stuart what role you think he'll play in this game well Derek we know he loves linking up with other players but it's when he's in and around the penalty area that's when he's at his most dangerous when he plays little one tubes around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner he could be the key to unlocking this defense the delivery a sloppy pass Rafinha Jules Koundé on the ball. De Jong. Here's Rafinha. And moving the ball nicely. And possibilities inside the box. De Jong. Are they going to forge ahead? Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Martinelli. And he read it superbly.
Alexander Zinchenko. Possession one. Frankie de Jong. Kunde. De Jong. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Jesus. And in with a real chance. Oh, goodness me. He made it far too easy for the keeper, didn't he? Frankie de Jong. De Jong. An encouraging move from Barca. De Jong. Can they forge ahead? No, chance missed. And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Well, there's the confirmation. That was nowhere near to crossing the line, was it? Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Really good diving save. Short option preferred. De Jong. And not cleared away properly. Right over for now, it seems. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Oh, really close. Just over the top. Jacker. And here's Saliba. Jacker with it. Alexander Zinchenko. Well read to win possession back. Sergio Busquets. It's a fine piece of attacking play from Lewandowski. And he has teammates to give it to. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And he's through here. Eyes lit up thinking it was about to be the opener. Well, just the lack of composure. He should score there. Alexander Zinchenko. It's with Erdogan. Now Zinchenko. Martin Erdogan. They've given it away. Could play it in. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Jordi Alba. Now with Lewandowski. Flag up, tight offside. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. to the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory now Barca have the ball once more
Partey. Rafinha. And he takes on the shot. Superb block. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Martin Odegaard. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Jordi Alba. Can they create something from here? Terrific block. Gabriel. And here's Saliba. Gabriel Jesus, fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Rafinha. And we saw the situation developing. Sergio Busquets. Alexander Zinchenko really good high press oh he's gone for goal well actually pretty easy for the goalkeeper in the end well they're finishing as the stats confirm has been wasteful which is a shame because their build up play has been really inventive they just need to be more clinical in front of goal Farsi and it's Gabriel Jesus and the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Lewandowski. Dembele on the ball. It didn't look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. 20 minutes to go in this one. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And intercepts again. Tempele. Back to Lewandowski. Now keeper in control. So a personnel change then. And how about the short corner? It could be... Well, good idea in terms of the shot, but not to be. Ben White. Martin Erdegaard. touch well the goalkeeper got there in the end well his recovery is brilliant here so athletic Sergio Busquets 10 minutes left for play Barcelona on the attack in the closing moments still level here superbly read and executed been the winner but the goalkeeper has done everything right there that's the vital stop and the play stop they will make the change now they take it short Jordi Alba on to Kessier De Jong oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack 
Counter-attacking, very much an option. They need to get bodies back. Oh, did so well to deny him. De Jong. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Substitution time it is here. Gabriel Martinelli. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Must take the lead here. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level, and extra time is coming up. Well, the ball rolling again. No end to the action. It's the first period of extra time. And I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Will he play it in? Played in low. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kick the outcome. Alexander Zinchenko is showing good defensive judgment. Memphis Depay! And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Oh, a smart stop. Something you don't see every day of the week. A triple substitution here. Short corner taken. And under no real pressure as he brought the ball down. Martin Erdegaard. Oh, he's lost possession. Well, the supporters think it's on. Tempele. On to Jordi Alba. And reading it absolutely superbly. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, Barcelona have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have got the ball into some really good positions. You just feel it's only a matter of time before they get their goal. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. And he read it well defensively. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Real chance. Splendid. Well, who is going to come out on top? Let's see if we find out in the second period of extra time. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. Sergio Busquets. Jordi Alba. Now Busquets. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Gabriel Jesus. Not much time to make up his mind. Kieran Tierney. 
And with the teams locked together, Arsenal chasing and chasing that winner. Copy and a goal for Arsenal. It is the Gunners Late Show in this UEFA Champions League final. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Jesus. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Advantage, Barcelona. Given the circumstances, Barcelona have got to go for it. Time is against them here. A fine block. El Neni. Jacka with it. Saka. Jesus. And they need to get tighter. This could finish it. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. And out for a throw in. The pass could have been better. in terms of added time a minimum of one minute has eyes for goal oh and it goes sensational strike and now he deserves to celebrate well as you can see this catches everybody by surprise Look where he is when he strikes it. That's a great goal. After a hundred and twenty. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. In it goes! And he steps up to take his penalty. And it wasn't the greatest penalty. And it's been saved by the keeper. He had to score, and he does. His turn to try to convert from the spot. Well, dead centre with that penalty. I think we might just have witnessed the unstoppable penalty. And the penalty converted here. Can he convert? So lethal in front of goal. You want a pressure cooker. This is it. He must score. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit, too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. 
It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. It's Barcelona's Champions League. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night.